Alright, in today's adventure with the Gig Master, we are testing out a brand new permission. I got Joe here, and uh, he's already hit the field. He's fast, man. He's already dressed when we got here. But uh, we're going to just test this out. We're going to hit it hard tomorrow, but we're going to do a quick couple hour test to see if we get any hits in here at all. Over 100 acres. We can only do, test just a couple of spots, but stay tuned. We're going to check it out right now. Joe, it's good to see you out here in the rain. What's it's up, raining on us, man. <laughs> Look at he got the a, first five ten dollar bill day, on the ground. I can't believe it. Hey, it could be a bag of money that the wind's blown loose. That's what I'm thinking, Dick. All right, Let's we got it. we got to look around here, then, man. Good golly, cash on the ground. I tell you, I can't can't beat that, man. Keep it up. All right, check this out. It's time of year to deer shed the horns. That is a deer horn right there. And I'll probably say that people make a lot of things out of these uh, knife handles and all kind of stuff. I'm gonna leave it here for now. We'll pick it back up when we come back. I'll stick it up right there like that so I see it. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're surveying a really big field here. And the uh, only thing found so far is Joe picked $10 up off the ground. And uh, we're gonna slowly work our way around this. Actually, some water on the other side of this woods. So I'm thinking maybe a house site uh, could be back here right next to the water. That's my thought pattern anyway. But one thing for sure, very little, no can solder for me so far, I think. Joe said he got one piece of can salt there when he first started out. But uh, the fields are pretty empty. So if there is anything in here, hopefully it'll be something good. Uh, I got my uh, iron on too. I want to hear a nice iron patch, what I want to hear. So far though, we're really not getting a lot of iron in here so far. Sometimes these big old fields, there's nothing in them. You just don't know until you check them out. And that's what we're doing. Scouting it out right now. All right. Here we go. Get your raincoats on. It is definitely raining, and it's going to continue to rain, it looks like. But we're, we're set up for it, so it don't bother us. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. I got first signal I got here. 24-26. My very first signal I've gotten out to dig. Wow. Uh, and it's pretty muddy. Alright, let's see if we can get out of the ground here. It's actually in this uh, clog right here. Break it up a little more. Oh, it's over here. Alright, it's gonna make a liar out of me. No, it's not. I don't see. There's something down here. Let's see what it is. I think I see it right there. What is it? It's like a debuckle. Nice little debuckle. We'll take that. That's probably pretty old. This area goes back to the 1600s, so first, first, first run of the debuckle. All right, man, we got plenty of water to wash it off here. I don't need to bring water today. Check it out. All right, we got plenty of water to wash it off. All right, let's back it up. All right, my second target here. Let's see what number we're going to get on. 26, 24. That could easily be a coin right there. Easily. All right, got me a new way to get my clog out of the ground. Okay, that does. All right, we ain't got it yet. I'm really excited about this property. It's not too far, a piece of property that we hunted with a friend of mine that we got all kinds of stuff. And he's actually gonna be with us tomorrow, so. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, come on out of there. Do I hang out? Pretty deep anyway. Definitely has gone down pretty deep over the years. Ah, ah, Come on out of there. Oh, I think I see it. When you see that green, yeah, that's it. I don't know where it is yet. I saw a piece of green down here. All right, that looks like a piece of junk, doesn't it? I think that's just a piece of old uh, pipe or something. All right, that's a no-go there. All right, with the rain, these fields are full of water. But I got a 22 here. I got to dig it. Water or no water right here, baby. She's coming out. See if we get a good little stuff in the straw on here. Oh yeah, listen to that. Okay. We're gonna get that out of here. Come on. We didn't get it, Dave. There it is, I think. Look at that. All that for one little um, copper point. Man, I tell you what. It's hard to get these targets sometimes. Alright, that field was pretty much a bust. All that field behind me right there. Nothing. One half of a debuckle. But we do have a little brick structure over to my right I just saw. 
So we'll check that out. I like it. Alright, here we go. Ready? Let's do it. Alright, we got some daisies right here. We got some brick over here, baby. So this is definitely a place I started. I got my iron on. I started getting a ton of iron hit. So this is a spot. Hopefully, anyway. Let's do it. First decent signal I got. 26, 27. Gotta dig that one. That's what we look for right there. Now, I'll tell you what. Well, I would have... Oh, I'm hitting something really hard right there. Here, here. That tells me it's probably not going to be something good. All right, I think I'm underneath of it, whatever it is now. Ah, it's coming up. Ah, I think I see something in the, in the two. Right down in there, but let's go ahead and get up at the ground. See it right there? Let's get at the ground here. Let's see what we got. All right, I don't know if I got it at the ground or not, but I think I did. All right, let's check it out. See if we still get this target. I actually threw it all the way over here. I see it. Not sure what it is yet. It's a brass handle. It does look pretty old. That's why I hit it right there. You heard me hitting it right there. It's pretty cool looking actually. I think that's a colonial days. That's probably like a draw pull on a piece of furniture or something that I think. Pretty cool though. Alright, let's keep digging. Alright, I see something in this clog. I don't know what it is yet. Ooh, it looks silver looking, but Oh, it's a button. It is a colonial button. I feel the tab on the back. Oh, I just knocked the tab off the back, too. Go in my finger here, but I'm pretty sure that is a... Man, that is a super clean colonial button. Silver button. Look at that. I don't think it's silver silver, because I think I see some stuff on the back. But, yeah, we got some button anyway. All right, let's back it up. Pretty cool. All right, we're still exploring, testing different fields in here. But well, check this out. I've never seen a mushroom. I'm assuming that's a mushroom like this one. Let me get up here nice and close so we can see it. Is that cool or what? Never seen a mushroom like that. What if it's edible? Anybody know what that is? Put it down below in the comments. Never seen one. All right, let's keep on. Here we go. Well, the rain will not let up. I thought it was going to stop raining, but uh, it has not stopped. It's still raining. Well, we've tried field after field over 100 acres here. Um, no honey holes yet. You know how we talk about it. You know, everything's kind of being one little square, but one little piece here, one little piece there, but no real honey holes yet. We're still looking around, but I kind of lost a little bit of hope in this property. Um, I thought it was going to be one of the best properties I had. You just don't never know till you get here and check it out. Really old area right here, but it could have been hunted to death till you don't know that. But anyway... We're going to continue going through here for a little bit longer. If not, I'm not sure where we'll go tomorrow. Maybe come back here. I don't know. All right. We'll see. Stay tuned. Joe, What's it's up, not man? looking good, man. I think you just saved us. I think. We're getting ready to leave. Okay. Saying this, is, this, uh, this field has got nothing in it, but look at that. I don't know what it is yet. It could be junk. What It looks like uh, something. It's a silver ring. You I think? Feel I feel it. I feel it. It could be. I don't know. It sure looks like it, does it, Joe? It's a silver ring, man. I think it might be. Unbelievable. Look at that. I think it might be. That's a silver ring. It's, it was ringing 2930. Mm -hmm. I think I just found a silver ring. That might have saved the that day. Saved anyway. the day. There ain't no question. Woo! I will have to Good clean job, that and get home. Man. Let's see what it looks like. But, man, I think that could be a silver ring right there. Right? It's not. Well, it's got a little bit of weight, but not a lot. We'll have to check it out when we get home. It'll be written on the inside if it is, that's for sure. All right, man. Let's, let's just check this a little bit more. Let's around. check a little bit more. We're going to check. We're getting ready to get out of here, but maybe we'll check a little more. Stay tuned. All right, Joe, you inspected this uh, fine? I did. And what does it got? Very interesting. This is appears to be a silver quarter that was made into a ring. He says he can see Liberty inside. Yep. I, can't, I can't see it, of course. But we'll clean it up, and I'll get you some detailed pictures when we get home. That's going to be a pretty cool find if it is. That's what it is. That is cool if that is. I can see stuff all on the inside it's now. It's, it's, it, it, it is a, a, silver, a quarter silver quarter that made was made into a, into a ring. That is cool. All right, let's bag it up. We'll keep looking here a little bit. All right, we're back where Joe found a one colonial button. And we're going to hit it right here. The house site's right on the other side of me here. So we're thinking maybe in the field next to the house site might have a little something. Anyway, this is going to wrap it up about 20 minutes, right, Joe? Yes, sir. All right, buddy, we're going to do it right now. Here we go. All right, we're going to call that a wrap. Um, not what we were expecting, but we didn't get skunked, though, either. So, Joe, enjoyed it, man. Absolutely. We're going to keep our social distances apart, at least six feet. 
And I'll see you on the next one, Joe. All right, buddy. Take care. Stay tuned. We're going to check everything out when I get home. I appreciate all of y'all sticking with me through thick and thin. And today might be a little thin. But uh, we, me and Joe hit a field we thought for sure it's going to be loaded. And it still might be. We're going to go back tomorrow and search some other areas. I mean, it's like 100 acres. We're just kind of zigzagging everywhere. All it takes is that one little spot to really make your day. So if we didn't hit it. We did not hit it today. We did get some good cool rest. I got one really cool relic I'm going to show you in just a second here. But uh, just real quick, um, uh, Joe, he did end up getting a colonial button and some other little brass pieces, colonial type brass pieces. But uh, we didn't really kill it with a bunch of them. I just throw out on a big spread. But I do have a couple things here. Let's check them out right now. All right. We got, uh, of course, you know, when you're getting these copper pieces of pipe, you know, you, that gives you such good signals. Uh, you know, stuff like that gives you good signals. This thing was deep as I don't know what. It's uh, I'm thinking it's just like a brass hose nozzle. It, probably pretty old, maybe 1900s, maybe, beginning. Some other stuff have no clue how old it is. Stuff here. This is kind of like a uh, like a draw pull or something. Debuckle, you know, debuckles can range from a long uh, per time period, from colonial to present day. But I'm thinking that's probably maybe late 1800s, 1900s. Uh, one draw pull. I'm thinking that's a draw pull right there that would go on a probably a pretty old um, chest drawer, maybe late 1800s again, something like that. I'm looking for 1600s at this site. There. There's 1600s all around. I have not found the little honey hole yet, but it could be there. I did get one colonial button. It kind of gave me a little scare at first. All that silver coming out. But uh, when I rubbed it, I could feel a little table back. And you see right there where it popped off. So, and it didn't have any writing on that like a lot of buttons do. But it's definitely um, held its silver content pretty good. But I wish it was pure silver would be nice, but it's not. But I did get something else. That's pure silver. I got a silver ring today, which was pretty cool right in the field. But this ring is, is really cool. It's actually a ring made from a 1957 silver quarter, which is really cool. I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen. You can see right there where it says um, a quarter dollar. Right there. I'm, I'm, it, that's reading on the inside of the thing there. Then you can see Liberty. I took a picture of that when you see it. And then I took a picture where it says 1957. You actually see the date on the inside of the ring. I'm not sure how they make these rings out of, out of coins, but I guess they punch a hole through the center. But how they make it so you can, you know, the, the writing stays on the inside is crazy. I don't know how they do it. But anyway, they do it. I don't know if Mrs. Gigmaster want to wear that one or not. She might do. I don't know. But anyway, it cleaned up pretty good, and I hadn't buffed it out anything yet. It'll buff out shiny, but the inside is really cool in there like that with that writing in it. I thought that was a pretty cool find right there. Never found one in before, that's for sure. That's a first for me, uh, and it's cool. Anyway, um, we're uh, going to head back tomorrow and see what else we can find. Uh, hopefully, we find that little honey hole in this, uh, on this farm. Definitely, like I said, right next to 1600, so... Who knows, it might be nothing, it might be another whole layer in there. So we'll give it a shot tomorrow, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll be going back, and I uh, hope all y'all come along. All right, don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming